Hello everyone! How are you doing? I hope you're doing all right. And as you noticed on the title of this video, I have big news to share with you. Ah! <laughs> Look at this baby bump here! <laughs> yes, I am pregnant of my first child. <laughs> I know that I have disappeared here on YouTube from this channel for a few months, but as you can see here, I have come back and I'm not alone. I'm in really good company here. I'm almost seven months pregnant and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a little bit of this life update of this new season in my life with the pregnancy and also tell you a little bit of my timeline of how my husband and I met. So if you want to see more about my story, please stay tuned here in this video with me. Before I start, I want to show you my baby belly bump because I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> I even put this dress which is really tight, like a bodycon dress, so that you could uh, see my baby bump a little better during this video. <laughs> I'm really loving this. So let's start. My husband and I have been married for 14 years, and this is going to be our first child. We met in the year of 2008 online, in a website called Christian Cafe. By the time we met, my husband was living in the United States, in the state of Florida, the city of Orlando, and I was in Brazil. I lived in Sao Paulo, in Brazil. We started to talk online. He found my profile there on the Christian Cafe website, and we started to exchange several emails and messages and phone calls. And then, in the year of 2009, we decided to meet in person for the first time ever. My husband flew all the way to Brazil, in Sao Paulo, to meet me and my family there, and to know a little bit about my story too. So after this first meeting in Sao Paulo, where we had the opportunity to spend about a week together, we decided to start the fiancé visa. And like this baby here, the fiancé visa, I don't know how things are right now, if it's faster or not, but back then it was a process that would take about nine months to be approved. And while the process was still, you know, rolling, the fiancé visa process, we met a second time again. But this time, we decided to go to Rio de Janeiro. I was born in the city of Rio de Janeiro, but my family left Rio de Janeiro when I was only three years old, and we never came back, so I never had the chance to see all those tourist spots, they are so famous in Rio. I actually saw all of that, like the Corcovado, the Sugarloaf, Ipanema Beach, and several other tourist attractions when I was there with my husband, that back then was still my boyfriend. So we saw all of that together for the first time. So the visa process was still rolling because it took a while to be approved. And in the end of 2009, my fiancé visa was finally approved. So I moved to the United States. And I don't know if you are aware of that or not, but the fiancé visa works like that. You have three months to either get married or I would need to return to Brazil. So that's what we did. In the beginning of 2010, in January, my husband and I got engaged. And in February of 2010, we got married. And we have been happily married for the last 14 years. And now, 
as a result of all this love here, we have another member of the family to join us very soon. So, during these 14 years that my husband and I have been married, we have done a lot. We have had the chance to see 16 different countries and also 12 different states here in the United States. If you want to see a little bit more of these travels, you should take a look at my Pandora playlist here on YouTube because I am a Pandora lover. I love all of the Pandora jewelry, especially their bracelets that have lots of charms. And many of my Pandora bracelets are inspired in some of these trips that my husband and I took together. So I have charms there representing some of the countries that we visit together that I really enjoyed. And if you wanna see a little bit more of these trips, just go to my playlist and check it out because there is a lot of information there. In the year of 2013, I decided to become a US citizen. So I always joke saying that I'm more American than ever now because I am North American and South American. I am South American by birth and North American by choice. And I decided to take the citizenship test and become a North American because today the United States is my new home. That's where I live, that's where I plan to stay, so why not to become a citizen? And that's what I did in the year of 2013. I took the oath and I became a U.S. citizen. <laughs> <laughs> say I'm a citizen now. Yes. <laughs> say hello to your mother. Oi, mãe, tudo bem? Um beijo enorme para todo mundo no Brasil. A few years later, in the year of 2019, we welcome a new member to our family called Chile. <laughs> Chile is our little dog. He is a Maltese and he is five years old now. And very soon, he's going to have company. <laughs> so if you follow me here on YouTube, you have probably already seen Chile in some of the videos. He's always making an appearance. He's always close by. And he is our little baby dog. We absolutely love him to pieces. Last year, 2023, in October, I discovered that I was pregnant. <laughs> and our little baby is due either in the end of May or the beginning of June of 2024. So I'm almost seven months pregnant now. And in a few months, you're going to have the opportunity to meet our little baby and the new member of our family. Uh, when I was 13 weeks pregnant, we took a blood exam that is totally optional called NIPT, which stands for Non-Invasive Prenatal Testing. And this is a blood test. And this is something that is used to test for several things, like if you want to check it out if your baby has a higher or lower chance of developing any sort of syndrome, like Down syndrome or something like that. That's an option that is there for the parents. But one of the side effects of this blood test is actually to discover the gender of the baby too, in case you want to. And this blood test works like this. This test, it looks for the presence or the absence of the chromosome Y. As all of you know, we, as women, we have two X chromosomes. And the men, they have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. When women are pregnant, what happens is there, there is a very small percentage of the baby's DNA running in the mother's blood system. So what they do in this exam is to 
see if there is the presence or the absence of the chromosome. Why? If you take the blood test and they analyze it and all they can find is the chromosome X, you are expecting a little girl. And if they can find any trace of a chromosome Y, the mother is actually expecting a baby boy. So my husband and I, we took this test and we know the gender now. <laughs> and if you wanna know it too, I have prepared a little video that my husband and I shared with all of our family members and friends to tell them if you were expecting a boy of a girl. And I'm gonna play this video for you right now so that you can know it too. As you could see in the little video, we are expecting a baby boy! Yeah! <laughs> I could not be more excited about that. I am really, really happy with this news. I can't wait to meet our little boy and I can't believe he's gonna be here very, very soon. <laughs> I gotta tell you though that I totally got the gender wrong. As soon as I discovered that I was pregnant, I kind of like felt that I was expecting a little baby girl. I don't know why. Probably because I'm very girly. I always liked to play with dolls when I was younger. I was always a big fan of Barbie and especially the pink color. So I put it in my mind that if I ever had a child, I would probably have a baby girl. So now that I know that I am expecting a little boy instead, I gotta tell you that my whole world went from pink to blue. And I could not be more excited about that. I'm really enjoying to become a boy mom. And both my mother and my mother-in-law were the ones who actually got it right. As soon as I discovered that I was pregnant, both of them, they kind of looked at, you know, at the shape of my belly and they gave me their guesses. My mom thought, well, I think it's a boy. And my mother-in-law too, she was betting on a boy and both of them got it right. And I, who is the mother, got it totally wrong. <laughs> but anyway, I know it's a little cliche to say that, but when we are expecting, all we want is just to have a healthy baby. And I'm really glad that our baby boy is growing here very healthy and that's all that matters. And I'm actually very happy and very excited, like I told you, to become a boy mom too. So that's it. I just decided to record this YouTube video to share a little bit of this big life update and big news with all of you here on YouTube. And uh, from now on, I'm not gonna stop, you know, my regular content here on YouTube because I really like to talk about fashion and other stuff like recipes. But parallel to that, I'm also gonna be bringing some content related to maternity and baby things because that's the season that I'm living right now and I want to share a little bit of that with you too. So if you want to see more, stay here on my channel, subscribe to the channel, please like this video and I hope to see you very soon. Bye bye!